In this particular lecture, we are going to talk about the influenza virus life cycle. How exactly influenza attacks human body and how it grows inside of us. So let's begin. Influenza A is one of the most common life-threatening viruses in the United States, each year infecting approximately 10% of the US population and causing about 20,000 deaths. Influenza is normally transmitted by droplets or aerosols from the sneeze or cough of a nearby infected person. When another individual inhales the droplets, the virus has a chance to evade the cells of new host cells. Influenza A contains a genome of single-stranded RNA segments, enzymes required for the DNA replication and shell of matrix proteins. The virus also have a phospholipid envelope which several embedded proteins including molecules called hemagglutinin HA or simply as H which plays an essential role in the viral cell entry. An influenza virus binds to the host cell receptor protein that contains polysaccharide terminating with salicylic acid. A salicylic acid that is attached to the galactose provides a recognition site for the virus's hemagglutinin protein. The salicylic acid can be con connected at different position on galactose. This example shows an alpha 2-3 linkage between the number of 2 carbon of salicylic acid. Influenza A is one of the most common life-threatening viruses in the United States, each year infecting approximately 10% of the US population and causing 20,000 deaths. Influenza is normally transmitted by droplets or aerosols from sneeze or cough of a nearby infected person. When another individual inhales the droplets, the virus has a chance to invade the cells of a new host and start growing in their body. Influenza contains a genome of a single stranded RNA segments, enzyme required for viral replication inside a host cell and a shell of matrix proteins. The virus also have a phospholipid envelope with several embedded proteins including a molecule called hemagglutinin or HA or simply known as H which plays an essential role in the viral cell entry. An influenza virus binds to the host cell receptor protein that contains polysaccharide terminating with a sialic acid. A sialic acid that is attached to galactose provide a recognition site for the virus's hemagglutinin protein. The sialic acid can be connected at different position on galactose. This example shows an alpha 2-3 linkage between the number 2 carbon of sialic acid and the number 3 carbon of galactose. The avian influenza strain H5N1 recognizes many of these 2 3 alpha 2 3 linked version of the carbohydrate which is found in birds. In humans, such carbohydrates are found only deep within the lungs, which may explain why H5N1 strain, uh, though deadly, is rarely transmitted between the human. In contrast to the upper respiratory tract of human, contains mainly alpha 2 6 linked receptors and it is to these receptors that human influenza A virus binds. The hemagglutinin complex consists of a trimer of subunits. Each subunit includes a domain that passes through the viral envelope and a domain that binds to the sialic acid receptor on the host cell. For clarity, let's look at just one of these three subunits. For an influenza virus to become infected or infective, hemagglutinin must be cleaved. An enzyme released from the epithelial lining of the human respiratory tract performs this function. The cleavage frees one end of the segment called the fusion peptide. The fusion peptide is hydrophobic and buried within the core of the hemagglutinin trimeric complex. The host cell takes up the virus by endocytosis. The endocytotic vesicle then fuses with the lysosome and its interior acidifies. The lowered pH includes a, it, it induces conformational changes shifting the receptor binding region back to the triggering the fusion peptide forward to the penetrate and vesicle membrane. 
A number of primary hemagglutinin molecules in the same region of the membrane mediate fusion between the viral and the host membrane. The fusion process expels the content of the virus into the host cytoplasm. The virus is ready to begin the replication cycle again for the next round. That concludes our understanding of the influenza A life cycle. Haemophilus influenza A and how it infects us.